it's really no wonder why the majority of species on our planet live outside of human inhabited areas. Beyond our cities and farms, there is a whole other beautiful, dangerous world. Now, man has never had an issue with cutting shit down. If there's a piece of land that we really want, it's going to be taken, inhabited and developed if need be. But that type of inhabitable land is a very small portion of the earth, very small. There are many locations that are on our planet that remain unexplored, and for good reason. You see folks, people have something called fear. It keeps them safe. It keeps them from going into places that can kill them. They also have something called bravery, which causes them to go into places that can kill them. I'm telling you folks, there are exotic sites around the world that you can visit safely and have a blast. But for all you adventurous nuts who have ever considered traveling to one of the islands I'm going to discuss, I absolutely encourage you not to bring a gun, but bring guns. This is a big, beautiful, wonderful place we live in. But in balance, it is a very scary and deadly place to be. The earth is no joke, folks. It will literally eat you alive. This is why explorers die exploring. But fortunately, we have these brave fools to get this information to us. So hats off to them, and here we go. Now... When we think of an island, we usually think of an isolated paradise. And some are. And some are not. In fact, there are dozens of islands that truly suck. We have in the Bay of Bengal, North Sentinel Island. Now, this is a place you can't go there. Nobody can. The inhabitants, the Sentinelese have only made contact with outsiders using rocks, arrows, and spears. The Sentinelese have a saying, you see it, kill it. I don't know. I think these people must have watched the movie Avatar, because they don't ask any questions or investigate shit. They just start shooting at you if you get too close. They've thrown spears at helicopters, shot arrows into people, they've slit throats, they must be hiding King Kong, because this sounds like Skull Island. So, governments have banned traveling anywhere close to this island. I'm sure these people have a good idea of what life is like outside the island, but I guess they perversely choose to live in their unmodified dark existence. Next, off the coast of Brazil, we have Snake Island. Yes, an island of snakes. And not just any snakes but venomous snakes. In fact, the island has the most venomous snakes in the world. Folks, I'm talking about a place where there is a snake literally almost every square meter. You take a step, there's a snake. And they don't have to bite you. Some of these snakes can spit venom that will melt through your skin. Needless to say, no one is allowed to go there. Aside from being deadly dangerous, many of these islands give a new meaning to the word creepy. Take the island of the Dolls, for example, located just south of Mexico City. As the story goes, the caretaker of the island, Don Julian Santana Barrera, discovered a young girl drowned in the water but was unable to rescue her. He later discovered a doll floating by the canals. Assuming the Tao belonged to the little girl, he hung the Tao on a tree as a gesture of respect for the spirit of the young girl. 
He claimed to be haunted by the spirit of the girl and began to hang creepy dolls all over the island. Tourists have claimed the dolls to be possessed and have reported that the dolls would move, open their eyes, and even whisper to each other. When it comes to spooky, just the photographs from this island alone gives me the creeps. Now, in the Venetian lagoon of northern Italy, we have Poveglia Island, or what I like to call Psycho Island. This is a good place to go if you want to crap your pants. It turns out that back in the days of the bubonic plague, the Romans would quarantine the sick there. And if you got sick and died, then Poveglia Island was your grave. If that wasn't bad enough, they actually constructed a mental hospital on the island in the 20s, just to give the place that extra flavor of evil. If you were ever sent to this asylum, then that was the end of the line for you. Today, well, there's probably over 100,000 ghosts haunting the shit out of this place. So, among the haunted islands of the world, we have the cursed island of Gaiola in Italy that can't keep a landlord because every owner has ended up dead. Then you have islands that people have just abandoned like Alcatraz or Hashima Island in Japan. I'm pretty sure there's ghosts there too. Speaking of Japan, there are islands there that the Japanese have completely fucked up due to industrialization and war. Not to mention the volcanic islands such as the Izu Islands where everybody has to wear a gas mask because the sulfur content of the volcanic island is so high. I mean, who the hell would live there willingly? I guess the rent's cheap. So, out of all these crazy ass islands, there are several that are home to invasive species. You think Snake Island is bad? How about Ramry Island, an island of man-eating crocodiles? At least 500 Japanese soldiers were killed by crocs on this island during World War II. So not only do you have killer crocs, you've got Japanese soldier ghosts. So unless you're in the business of making handbags and boots, don't go there. Now, animals aren't that scary in small numbers, but an island full of one species of animal is way beyond scary. There's Christmas Island, full of red crabs. Okunoshima Island, full of rabbits. Tashirojima Island, full of cats. Sable Island, full of horses. And people live in these places, folks. Yes. Now, there are islands that are not that creepy, but they definitely are mysterious, such as Vulcan Point, which is an island inside a lake. Inside an island that is inside a lake. On an island. Or the eye. The most fascinating island of them all. A perfect circle of land surrounded by water rotating on its own axis within a perfect circle of land in southern Argentina. Folks, there are islands that people have never been to or even know about. And we are fortunate that many of these places are isolated. But there are places on the mainland which are just as creepy, like our forest. So, the next time you book a vacation, make sure your travel agent knows not to pick a destination that has a long history of death. <laughs>